since when did you start making defense mechanisms? You think I'm not capable? No, it's not that. It's yes, just... it is that. You think you can design it better than me? Well, if there's a way of saying that without sounding big-headed, then uh, yes. <clears throat> okay, well, that's, uh, that's good. Somebody sneaks into camp and they see Mr. Skeleton here and they, well, they get a bit of a fright, let out a little scream or something. It's good. The skeleton is not the trap. But for the purposes of this display, it will be the intruder. Right, like some marauding pirate or cannibal. Just go stand there for your own safety. Right. The intruder trips the wire. Uh-huh. Which then sets off the catapult. Right. I think you'll be very impressed by this. Watch. Yes. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Maybe if I could just make... No, I know what I'm doing. Actually, your idea wasn't bad. You just... just got your calculations wrong. There wasn't enough leverage, and that's where the pulley system comes in. It's a good theory, bad execution. Really? Just trying to tell you where you went wrong, that's all. I'm smart enough to work out for myself where I went wrong. Pretty good, I suppose. Don't think it could have worked any better. Oh. <laughs> That's even better than I thought. Crocodiles before, but that one, that's a real man eater. He'll rip you right in half. Never mind what it did to that little skull. I, I, I think, as far as defense mechanisms go, that's a real winner. You've seen your face when it came out of the water. Said you did good. What's wrong? It's a big island, but a small treehouse. Meaning? If we're going to fall out, I'd at least like to know why. We've not fallen out. <laughs> Something's going on. Nothing. You did a good job with my trip. I know. That's what it is, isn't it? trying to prove a point, it's just that I, I don't know, I've got a certain set of skills and so do you. I went to school, I studied hard, I passed examinations. Examinations? There's a test. We well, have to prove yourself. Like a right to manhood. You'd certainly think so if you heard my father talk. Huh. Well then I have passed tests and I've passed examinations. Really? Yes. They were not a joke. You have no idea what they were like. All right, then. I have no idea. I will show you. You can't be serious. I told you it was not a joke. And what's the point of it? 
to walk across the core without getting bent. Barefoot? Barefoot. Can't be done. It is a walk of courage. <laughs> you might say courage, others might say lunacy. But I have done it. I've seen others do it. And I've seen people fail. Show me your feet. Why aren't they blistered? Because I truly believed I'd come to no harm. It, it, it can't be that. It's... <clears throat> so you cannot do this? If you can do it, I can do it. The secret is to keep the contact as brief as possible. And the ash and the moisture helps. And what if you are wrong? Then you can carry me home. fail if you hesitate. Mind never matter. Just clear your mind and go. Well, it was only the first test. Little girls in our tribe would do it just for the fun of it. I love how you do that. You take me from being a warrior down to being a little girl. That's great. What, Chris? I'm just saying the others do it more demanding. I studied algebra at Morton's Academy. I can walk on coals any day. So you mean you'd rather be here than at home? <laughs> you know me better than that. Every waking moment, I try and think about getting off this island. I think about my family's safety. All I can do from here is pray that Jeremiah Blackthorn is protecting them. Ah, the necklace. It is not only exquisite, it is 3,000 years old. I fear I'll spoil it. You swore you would work for your keep. Trust me, Susanna, you do. On you, my precious things, take life. I got a letter back from those agents in the West Indies. Oh, bad news. No news at all. For all I know, it could be dead. Susanna, since you raised that possibility. I wasn't raising it. But it is. A possibility, more than a possibility. I cannot believe that Robin would be alive and not get a message to you. Or would he want you to suffer like this? No, no. That would be cruel. I think we have to be realistic and accept the worst. So then, is it not time? considered your children's future and your own.
Interrupt. There's a priest here to see you. A priest? Not that ill. Monsieur Crusoe, do you remember me? How old were you when you passed the test? Does it matter? Well, now that I know that I can pass a test a little girl can do, I'd just like to know how old you were. I was 12. 12? Wow, that's impressive. You must have been really scared. If you say so. Well, don't you remember? Of course I remember. And I remember what my father told me before I did it. Your science has got nothing to do with it. Everything starts in here. <laughs> No, I, I think you're oversimplifying things. Here, here, look. It's a little mental test. A cup, right? And a stone. Now, the stone is under the cup, right? Mm hmm I want you to move it. <laughs> ah! But you can't touch the cup. No moving it, no blowing on it, no moving it at all. Crusoe, it is not possible. Watch. Wait. Watch. Okay. Got it. There it is. Ah, oh, Crusoe, that is not the same pebble. Isn't it? No. Ah, see, I didn't move the cup. Mind of a matter. And you failed my test. Tomorrow, you and me in a real challenge. One that does not involve cheap tricks. Finally. You're going to be sorry. I doubt that. So what is it? Tomorrow. <laughs> Two men will climb up. But only one will come down. And gravity will take care of the other. Just say the word, Crusoe, and we will cancel this challenge. Is it true you won this when you were only 12? Against a boy three times my size. Well, prepare to lose this time. <laughs> Do not get hit. Oh, so this is so easy. You're so predictable. I don't hide. <laughs> Just like I thought you would do. <clears throat> Looks like you don't know me as well as you thought. really a challenge, was it? It was more of a fight. Do you want another one? I'm just saying. I think we should stop this before oh, one of us gets hit. Oh. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> I'm not complaining either. I just, uh, I can be a good loser. There's no such thing. Losing is never good. This is what I don't understand. Why you take it so seriously. My father told me to be like this. My father believed in kindness. Father, Mr. Samuel Tuffley. <coughs> You've been sending messages to my sister. They've all been returned. Well, I've got one from her to you. She's made a new life. She's happy. 
She wants to forget that she ever had a traitor <coughs> for a husband. He's behind this, isn't he? I don't know who you mean. Jeremiah Blackthorn. At least I know him now. For the dog. What he is. <coughs> <coughs> What's the next challenge, then? Forget it. We're not doing it. No, no, I'm only asking. It is an old legend of my tribe. There was a man who had a beautiful woman, but he beat her. Then one night, she ran away and climbed up a high, high banyan tree. The husband chased after her, and when he reached the top, she spoke her name and then threw herself down into the darkness below. The husband, he was torn with regret, jumped after her, and as she swung safely in the breeze, he fell to his death. <clears throat> Sorry, she... She what? She had tied line of vines to her ankles, so that when she jumped off, they would stop her before she hit the ground. That is the legend. I do not know if it is true or not, but ever since then, vine jumping has become one of our main rituals. What did it feel like? It is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> you would think that stepping off is the hardest part until you're soaring down through the air. But when it's over and you realize that you're alive, your blood sinks. No, forget it. What? It takes great skill to measure out a vine. Well, People you, die. You could do it. I cannot teach you and I do not know how to do it. Tell me if I'm doing this right. No, Crystal, no! No, it's okay, it's okay. I measured the vine. I'm coming up! I'm coming down! No! Oh. Are you hurt, Crystal? The vine stretches when you fall. Oh. You have to allow for it. I just wanted to feel my blood sing. And does it? Uh, no. But my head does. <laughs> I just wanted to know what it feels like, that's all. You act as if this is a game. And you act as if there's so much more to it. Do not presume to know what I am thinking. I'm not, it's just that the more this carries on, the more I realize I have no idea what's wrong. What are you doing? I think I should leave. What? Just for the best. What are you talking about? Friday. Listen, whatever I did, whatever I said, I'm sorry. It is nothing that you did.
Thought I'd come and see your new place. It is a lot easier to keep than that I saw up the beach. Treehouse? I heard the guy that lives there can be a real pain sometimes. He is not that bad. He's a good cook, though. I was going to give this to Dundee, but you know what fish does to him. I have eaten. I wasn't suggesting you hadn't. Friday, we live here together. It's just you and me. We hunt together, we build together, we survive together. There's no one else. Sometimes I think the only thing that keeps me sane is being able to talk to you. I've really come to rely on it, so when things like this happen, I can't and... Did you rehearse that? What? <laughs> no. Maybe, just to start it, yeah. It was not bad. Stop trying to change the subject, just tell me what's wrong. I failed. You failed. It was the final challenge in my tribe. And my father, he was there for every single one of them, encouraging me, believing in me. I let him down. I'm sorry. He never really said that he was disappointed. He would never betray himself like that. But from then on, I knew that in the eyes of my tribe, of my father, I never became a warrior. And I truly never became a man. What was the final challenge? What does it matter now? I failed it. I've seen you fight, Friday. You are a warrior. Not in my father's eyes. Um, look. And I've seen your father. I did not see a man who despised his son. Listen, here's an idea. You and I will set a challenge and we'll do it together. It's not too late. No. Why not? for my machete a warrior should never lose his weapons hey I'm sure your father would agree with me that is not for you to say all right then you tell me when you were growing up what was your father like he was a simple man a man who believed in the ways of the tribe he saw me as an extension of himself. Somebody would one day continue the great works that he did. Till the day I failed him. Friday, I left my father behind. The man who raised me alone, I left him miles and miles away. Him and everyone else. You talk of being a man, that's fine. But a real man would have stayed behind. And protected his family, his wife and his children from whatever fate bestowed on them. You have a letter? From Crusoe. And some money. Came in on a tea clipper. The letter changed hands mid-ocean at least three times. Let me see the money. Gold Escudos, same as last time. He has a plantation. Seems to be making a reasonable living. He never says where in case it compromises her. 
Be assured of my love and that I take in news from home however I can get it. Make sure she doesn't see this. Why don't you just tell her he's dead? I have many times. She wants proof. If it was down to me, I'd say a charter a ship, get out there. Let's finish him off ourselves. It's a good enough plan. We just need to find out where he is. Listening, Mr. Crusoe. We're bound for Guinea, and I sail on the four o'clock tide. I've heard the tavern talk. You don't sell an empty vessel halfway around the world for gold dust and elephant's teeth. Is there no penalty for fetching back slaves without permission of the King of Spain? Just what are you trying to do to me? I'm trying to get you to listen. You need to listen. I'm not going to London. I'm going to Guinea. Guinea. I know. On the four o'clock tide. And if you don't take me, there isn't another ship for a month. Just what is it you want me to do? This is the deed to my plantation. It's worth at least 3,000 pounds. I'll sign it for you here, and I'll seal it in London. 3,000 pounds? Could be as much as four. Take it, and you'll be in Guinea by December. What makes a man so desperate to be in England? Friday, is this what you're looking for? Where did you find it? I didn't. I took it. What are you doing, Crusoe? I watched you make it. I watched the skill and the care involved, and now I've taken it. You want it? OK, fine. I give it to you. It is yours. Yes, but you can't give it to me, because I've taken it. If you want to give it to me, then you have to take it back. Ah, uh, Crusoe. Go on, take it. No. As governor of this island, I reserve the privilege to set you a challenge. A few small scrapes and nicks is a very small price to pay for what you gain in the end. Friday, it's here. Take it. Stop it. Here it is. I am not doing this. It does not mean anything. Yes, but it will mean something to your father when he finds out that his warrior son didn't take his weapon back without a fight. And that's exactly what I'll tell him as soon as I get off this island. Stop it. Taking. 
So what does it prove? If I just let you in, nothing. So you've got to beat me. I know what you're trying to do, but I'm not a child. What I filled in was big trap, not a game. It was about my willingness to survive. This, this is nothing. No, but you won, it's fair. Crusoe, you are a good friend. At least I'll give you that. What about the- Keep it, and you can tell my father whatever you want. I will never be the son he wanted.
Crystal! You'll be fine. You have to. to eat. <laughs> nice job. Very cooling. It is something I do in my spare time. <laughs> <laughs> Two warriors. 
Perhaps even our fathers would be proud of us. Perhaps. I'm sure there would be. <sighs> so what do warriors do? Well, they work together, they survive, and when they have to, they fight. Not against each other, though? No. Hopefully not. Because you would lose again. <laughs> if it hadn't been for that trap you invented... Let us not forget who saved you from the giant killer crocodile. No, I won't forget that. A beast like that. There must be another one. A crocodile that big. It'd feed us for a long time. Tasty too. Did you not hear the part when I said giant and killer? No, I did. It's just I've been working on this device to breathe underwater. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Oh, I have. Look, look. I've got some designs you can look at. Giant, killer, crocodile. Friday, it'd be perfectly safe. You know me. I'd be the one underwater, and you can stay on dry land. OK. OK. We could try that. Yeah. It'd be fun. If I could get this to work, we could use it in the lagoons and help ourselves to crabs and oysters and not to mention finding sunken pieces of the shipwreck. Mm. And hunting killer crocodiles. <laughs> yes. <laughs>